This hopefully will turn out to be my sawmill motor. It is a 13 horsepower color. Uh, I think it came off an air, air compressor motor. Uh, don't know what's wrong with it yet. Motor was uh, seemed to be locked up, or it locks up when you turn it a certain amount. Don't know if it needs a piston rod. What? Looks like it's got a rocking. Don't know how that got in there. I don't know if it might have been on a truck that rolled over or if they did it dump off the back of a pickup into some kind of road bed or what. The muffler looks like it pushed down into the valve cover though. A little ding, no problem. Oil filter looks like it's caved in a little bit. It's some kind of trauma, but it's rebuildable. I'm hoping uh, it will make a very good uh, sawmill motor. I'm gonna build my sawmill. I've got a man gonna sell me some uh, 158 inch bandsaw blades. Should be able to cut after I get built, cut logs as big as uh, three foot in diameter with it. It's one of them long term projects. But I think that's a good motor for the job if I can get it working. Shouldn't be a problem. This money. Money's the issue, always is it seems. But it's easier to build your own sawmill and get your own wood cut than it is to buy wood now. If I don't want to end up living in what was supposed to be a barn, that's the way it's going to have to go. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, more to come. This is an alternative motor for the sawmill. Six and a half horse Briggs. Came off of a tiller that uh, got tore up. Low mile or low hour on the engine, I imagine. Uh, anyway, it still turns over. I have to clean the carburetor probably at least to get it running. But six and a half, I'm not sure if it's going to be powerful enough for the sawmill or not. But at least it's uh, an alternative. Anyway, a little more to come. Another option. 18 horsepower Briggs Twin. Picked up at the salvage yard several years back. Going to try to fix this old riding. That's a lawn tractor. But uh, yeah, it's a good motor. Needs carburetors clean. But it was running last time I used it. May need a little tinkering to get it going, but that's a power plant, potential uh, power plant for a sawmill or portions thereof. Got another somewhere. That's a 17 and a half horse. Perfectly good motor. And the rest of the machine wore out before the motor did. That's what new riding mowers do, I guess. The engines outlast everything else. But the uh, thing about uh, riding more engines, they're cheap. Generally get them just to haul them away. People let them sit too long, carburetors get gummed up. That's generally about the only, only thing wrong with the motors. Bearings and stuff in the deck and stuff will wear out before that. So Anyway, riding mowers are very underutilized. They have good power plants that can be used for generators, sawmills, uh, whatever. But I'm uh, thinking I would like to uh, incorporate riding more engines into the sawmill, but uh, 
if the color horizontal shaft works out, it's rebuildable, where I don't think these uh, Briggs are. But these old uh, Briggs 12 so horse all the way up to 18, 20 horse motors are sometimes free. Perfectly good motors and easy to change out. Already got pulleys on them. And mower parts had, uh, you got idler pulleys. Uh, you use pulleys for clutches, whatever. So that's uh, what I've got to work with motor wise for the sawmill. One of many different uh, power plants, all of which can be run on wood gas. Use some of your uh, sawmill leftovers to fuel the whole thing with. Save yourself a lot of money on gas. I'll get in the wood gas fire again later. The sawmill's the project now. We'll go from there.